Hello everybody, this is Discount Dad, and we are starting episode 4 of our Into the Breach Let's Play. This is a roguelike uh, strategy game with fairly deterministic combat, you know, no randomness, uh, things like that. And we are a good way through the game now. We are heading into, or we are almost completing the third island uh, of five islands. So we will see how it goes. So we've taken, we only have three life left here, three power. Um, so we have to choose. Are we going to go for an easier island here that gives us two, the stars or uh, reputation, but they're basically money. Or we can go for this one, which will only give us one star, but it could give us back two of our lives at the expense, though, of being higher threat. Uh, that's kind of risky. Uh, so I think I'm going to go for the two stars instead. Let's see. And I'm going to go for this one because one of the stars comes from taking less than three grid damage. I don't want to do that anyway. So that's that's something I'm not going to have to go out of my way to avoid. So let's do that. Now, what do these do? Teleport pad. End movement here to warp to a matching unit. Okay. And then another one? Okay. So let's see. So these guys... This is a soldier scion. All other uh, Vec receive plus one hit points. So, yeah, he has five then. So I gotta take care of that guy. So let's start here. And then we'll start here because he can do a fair amount of damage. And then this guy, as always, I'm going to start him in the back. I need him to be able to swap back and forth like this to be able to uh, use his artillery to push people side to side. All right, so let's try this. Our goal is to take fewer than three damage total, and particularly right here. All right, a time pod. Last level, we missed the pod, so I don't want to miss it again. Okay, not giving us, giving us a lot of breaks here, but this is actually going to work out okay, I think, because I can push him forward to block that. Let's do that. Let me just make sure. Uh, uh, he can't really get anywhere to do it, get anywhere fast enough to do anything, unfortunately. I, uh, well, actually, no, that's okay. Let me... No, it's not. It's not great. So I could come here, push him back there, and then kill him. No, because if I bump myself back, then I'll lose. Oh, I know. Okay, I can kill him directly. I don't need to mess around with any of that other stuff. I can just push him up. Okay, and then this guy. I was going to try to kill this guy because I really need to get rid of these passive bonus guys. But, uh... As we saw last time, we just don't have much time to do that. Um, we keep running out of the ability to, like, the, that extra turn that you need. We just end up without it. So let's instead, I don't know how I'm going to be able to stop him. Okay. Yeah, he does three damage, so I can't block hit with him because he'll take two damage thanks to his armor, but that, that will still almost kill him. Okay, so I'm going to have to block here. I'm going to do what I can to just avoid avoid damage. So I'll block here, which will block this enemy from spawning. I'm going to punch... I'm going to use my one-time use attack here. Giving up an attack, unfortunately, but it prevents damage there. I'm going to bring him there and push this guy into the water. Perfect. All right, and then I'll come here. Actually, undo move. I'm going to try to get closer if I can. I'm going to fire this way. That doesn't kill him, but it, it saves me there. Okay, not bad. Yeah, I, I need to get some hits on these guys. I think if I kill him, he'll die. I'm not sure. Okay, at least we don't have a bunch of different attacks on enemy targets this time. So that's a lot better. Okay, Th this should be easily defendable. Alright, so let's take the time to kill this thing. Because I've needed to for a while. In the previous game, we got in trouble by not doing it. I'll come up here and fire which will also allow me to get through that. 
Okay. That did kill that one. Okay, and now I can come here. Push this guy right in the water. Oh, I destroyed the pod, though. I keep missing these pods, and now I have to decide whether it's worth... I think I'm going to get a kill rather than block an enemy from spawning. Hopefully, hopefully that's okay. This is the second round in a row where I've missed my time pod. I, uh, I need to get a little better at that. Okay. Now we're kind of in trouble here. I don't really have any easy way to defend all of these. Which one goes off first? So he will attack first. So actually, if I bump him this way, he'll kill that. So, okay, so that actually works out fine. Can I kill him? No. So let's go here. And push this guy one. Oop. I was hoping. It said end of the move, so I thought I'd be able to hit him. Oh, well. That was actually really bad. Uh, I don't have any way of hitting this now. Okay, because if I punch him, I hit that. So I need to reset my turn. You can only do this once per round, or once per level. So I need to go here. And then I need to come up here and fire. Okay. And now I can bump him there. Alright, and then come up. Oh, I still take a building damage. Is it worth it to kill an enemy? I've only got two turns left. I don't think it is. I think I'm going to instead... Should I come this way and get close to combat or block an enemy from spawning? I'm going to block an enemy from spawning. It's still early. So I will go there and I'll repair myself. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. That won't hit an enemy target. Or that won't hit a target. That guy I can kill. That guy I have to move. Okay. So this should be okay. Let me see here. So this is fine. That's not going to hit anything. This guy... I'm going to have to take a hit there, because I can't get around it otherwise. So let's come here and punch. How fast can he move? He can only move three, so he can get one, two, three. Uh, that's not enough. I need to be able to hit there. Okay. Actually, I don't need to. I don't need to kill that guy. I do need to kill this guy. Hmm. So what can I do here? I, well, I can kill him, but I can't kill him. I don't think. Although, if I move there, and movement here to swap. Okay. So if I end my movement there, I'll probably go here. But if I punch hit this guy. He's going to deal damage to that building. Hmm. Tricky. All right. So is there is there a way to do this? I'm actually not sure. I really don't want to take I mean, this is obviously unsustainable. That will that will end my game. So I have to do something. I think my only choice here is to kill that guy with him. And then I think I have to kill him, dealing one point of damage to that building, and then use him to prevent this attack. And it's the last turn, so that should be okay. All right. I wish there was something, I wish I could kill this guy, but I don't want to stand there and get killed myself. So let's come here. Yep, we gotta do it. Okay. Alright, and then we just we have to take a point to damage. Hopefully my my grid resist will, will work for me. Nope, didn't work, darn. But it was still only one, so that's okay. And then 
Oh no, if I punch, if I shoot him, he might swap with the bomb. I don't really see any other option. Okay, no, because he died, it didn't count as movement. Good. Okay. All right, we managed to survive. We did take a point of damage, but for two stars, that's okay. All right, we need to quit losing these time pods, though. All right. Okay, we got the boss fight here. All right, let's see. Picked up a Vec we've never encountered before. I fear it won't go down easy. Oh, yeah, look at that guy. The beetle leader. He's massive, so he won't die in the water. Uh, and then he does three damage, and he lights every tile in the path on fire. Yikes. Okay. They've got this guy does three damage at range. The mountain guy, and one damage at range. Okay. We got a lot of tough enemies here. Let's get him up front, and I want him to be able to come down the flanks. And then I need him to be able to bump people out of the way. So I think we're in good shape. Hopefully we get some uh, a little bit of a good shuffle here. All right, that's rough. Okay, so I have to kill... Let's see here. Who goes first? So he's not going to be able to charge me now. This this was a mistake on on its part, which is fine with me. How much does, damage does he deal? Just one? Okay, so if I push him back, he'll deal one damage to each of those guys. All right, I'm happy with that. All right. I uh, bought the power-up for him that makes it so his artillery does not deal damage to my own team, which is useful. All right, and then we'll come here. We'll just push this guy into the water. Kill him. All right, and then I'm going to get up close. Nothing else I can do, but that's okay for now. It'll allow me to be... I, I want this to get hit. I want that to block him. So I'm going to end that. Yeah, here we go. Okay, four turns to go. That's a lot of enemies attacking me right here. Okay. So, if I... I have to do something to this guy. Or I could just get out of the way. He's not actually attacking me. Alright, if he pushes here, he could push this guy out of the way and that guy out of the way. So neither of them would hit. If I was standing here... If I came here, I could push him into the water. Well, I don't... Hmm. Yeah, so I think the play has got to be pushing these guys out of the way. No way to block this, though, unfortunately. And if I push this guy out of the way, they both hit other buildings if I attack here. Because I could use my my thump power to hit this guy for four and push these two guys to the side. But I don't think that would be a good idea. All right. Hmm. I might just be taking a hit on this one. Uh, the only other thing I could do is use this guy to push him out of the way. Hmm. Yeah, three damage. All right. So. If I come here and hit, 
I push him up one. I push him out that way, which doesn't actually move him, but deals him a point of damage. But then this guy's going to be hitting that, so that's not good. So I think I just have to come here and hit once. Alright, let me see. Yeah, come up here and hit this guy. Or I could just get out of his way and kill this. Alright, let's do this first. Wait, oh yeah, maybe that's it. Yeah, that's it, okay. So I, I bring him here. I fire here. Wait, oh yeah, okay, he's not moving. All right, and then this, I punch this way. He's gonna go first and deal damage to this guy. Uh, I will take one point of damage from pushing, but I was gonna take a point of damage anyway. Oh, well, okay, that means double damage, so that's not good. Oh, and he does damage for two rounds, okay. So I have to stop that also. All right, this is not going as well as I had hoped. Uh, all right, if I kill him, I prevent damage. kill him to prevent two. I, I can't kill him. I can only hit him. Hmm. Alright. I've got to kill the big guy. And then I just have to hope I get lucky because otherwise I'm going to lose two buildings. That's going to be the end of the game. Alright. Let me... Let me reset this turn. I can always do this again if I need to. I just don't have that many options here. I could just get out of the way of him. Maybe that's what I have to do. I push here. I come up and I kill this guy. Alright, and then this guy comes here and kills him. And blocks an enemy. I think that might be as good as I can do. I could kill him, but he's not nearly as dangerous as this one, because this guy can start making the uh, walls, which will be really disruptive. Yeah, let's do that. Alright, we'll let him charge off into the, uh, the unknown, and then if I need to, I could probably push him into something. Alright. So we are going to take a point of damage, unless we get lucky. Come on, grid. Nice. Okay. Took a point of damage, but that's okay. Alright, that enemy is welcome to spawn there. Alright, this guy... Let's just push him in the water. Alright, and then... One damage there, two damage there. Alright, let's kill him. I could kill him. Um, maybe that's better. Yeah, let's let's keep the dangerous guys out of the out of the fight. And we'll move him out of the way. All right, so now no attacks are hitting, and then let's just come up here and, and kill this boss. We don't want to keep dealing with that guy. These easy guys, we only have one more turn to defend, so it shouldn't be too bad. Alright, blocked another enemy from spawning. And this guy should be on fire. Wow, okay, we got a lot of attacks in one turn this time. Uh, what can we do here? don't have to kill him. Which order do these go in? This guy goes last, unfortunately, because I could have pulled it up to have it blow up him. Oh, I could push him to the side. Oh no, I can't. There's no way for me to get there to fire here. Ah, darn. This, this mountain's going to sink me. Because um, if I could have pushed him over, it could have worked.
Okay. Well, let me see. What can I do? I've got to defend as many of these as I can. I can't believe how bad this has turned. Um, bad luck. All right. So what I need to do is I need to get this guy off this building or kill him, which I can't because I can only do one damage. He can self-destruct, killing all the adjacent enemies, but he can only move... This guy can only move three, two, three. It's not far enough to do anything. I wish I had my dash power. Um, he dies in one. Maybe that's it. Okay, so if I kill him in one... He can fire here and kill him. But that's still this guy and this exploding, and that's two damage. So I'll lose as long as if one of mine doesn't uh, defend itself. All right, whereas if I come here and punch him, he'll die. He can fire on that guy and he'll die. And then he can kill him and he'll die. So that's three. So then there's only one attacking. I think that's what I have to do. So I come here and I fire. All right. And then I come. Oh, that's going to hit two things. Okay. So that does, that's the worst of it. This one that does two damage. So I've got to take care of that. Is there any way to do it with this? No, I, I can sacrifice myself. All right, let's do it. All right, and then it's what it takes to survive. Oh, and I can't hit that. Oh, no. Okay, well, I can push him out of the way. All right, so we're going to survive the round. came at a cost, though. Killed in action. I lost my character. I needed that one extra turn. I could have potentially healed him. Darn it. Alright. So I lost a... lost a pilot. Um, when can I get a pilot? Gotta find somebody in a pod. Okay, what are my options here? science class weapon. Do I have a science character? Passive effect. Mechs heal damage when they deal a killing blow. That could be good. Ranged class weapon. Deals damage to two tiles, pushing one forward and one backward. That could be interesting, but it's very specific. Uh, prime class weapon. Chain damage through adjacent targets. Okay, that could come in handy. I might pick that up. I think I need the reactor cores first. All right, let's grab the cores. And then I have to choose. Do I want this? I could sell my fists. I haven't used them that much, especially since I deal four damage on their own now. So I think I'm going to sell that. This chain weapon seems like it could be better. All right, spinner. And then I'm going to buy... Let's see. Uh, these all use power cores. So I think I'm going to buy a grid power just to get a little, little extra defense. All right, so let's put this on. Oh, I can't use it until I get two more cores. Okay, well, it is what it is. Uh, let's see here. All right, let's install that power mod. So he's got, does he have two now? He does have two. Let's put dash on. Building chain. Uh, you know, I just spent the money on it. I might as well get that. I do think I need that extra movement though. We'll have to see how it is for now. All right, here we go. Oh, I've got one more course still. All right. I know I'm going heavy on the guy, but I think Uh, I wish I had that guy back. I think he gave me... He was giving me plus two health, I believe. All right. All right. I need that extra movement point for now. Until I get another one to put dash on. That 
I think that's what sunk us last game. All right, here we go. All right, to the final island before we go to the final mission. All right, let's see. And here we go. Or should we just move on to the final level? We've, we're already at maximum power. I'm not quite sure why you would stick around and keep going on a particular level. So I think I'm going to head to the final island. All right. With the Vec driven off the island, you have a chance to wipe them out at their source, your humanity's last hope. Okay, let's see what happens. We've got good power on our... So we just have to survive the fight for five rounds? That doesn't sound too bad. I wish we had a pilot. All right, and then we've got our ranged guy. All right, high damage dealers here. What do these green things do? The emergency power grid, out of range. Deploying remote power pylons. They'll keep you connected to the grid. So what are these? Do I have to keep all these alive? Ah, I didn't know where the grids were going to be at the beginning. That makes it harder. Okay. So it looks like I've got some fairly easy kills here. I can... Oh, I can't... Act oh, yeah. Okay, I can punch him back. Sa saving him. This guy can come up here and punch him this way. Blocking a spawn. And then I can hit this and knock him into the water. So let's do that. Let's get everybody dead, and we're going to prevent two spawns this turn. Which I like. Even if he survives, which he will, it'll still be doing good work. Oh, uh, darn it. I don't want to do that. Is it worth using my reset already? You know, I think I might have to. If you watch the first episodes of this series, you know that I had to use a lot. I, I basically have to use my first my reset on the first turn of every round. All right, one down. Punch him in. Okay, and then fire. Okay, there we go. getting some lava. Alright, we're going to prevent two spawns and deal two passive damage, which I'm happy about. What is this guy? Oh, that's a ton of damage. Okay, so I definitely have to stop that. Let's see, how much does he deal? One day. Okay, he's not massive, is he? No, okay. So I can stop this guy by pushing him in the water. Do I take fire if I go in there? Or only if I stay? All right, let's see. Well, I want to prevent spawning, but I think it's more important that I... Uh, keep ahead of things. So let's... Yeah, let's do this. Let's just push him in the water. Alright, and then let's... Let's stop a spawn. And then we'll kill. Okay. Alright, that's not bad. We're gonna stop one spawn, and then two, two more are coming out. Three more are coming out. Uh, but this one's blocked also. We are going to get overwhelmed here, though, if it keeps going like this. If they would stay here, that would be the perfect place to use my uh, my new chain chain lightning attack. Okay, well, they're not, they're not moving too much. Okay, two turns remaining, not too many. He does a ton of damage there. Five damage. Okay, well, I can't allow that. Um, I could push him out of the way with this. Push, his, push him into the water to kill him. Push him down that way. Which What order do they go in? Okay, he, he does go first. Because I was thinking, I could push him this way, and then he could and then he could push him down and kill him. But this guy attacks first, so I can't do that. So let's 
Let's do that. We'll move here. I'm gonna fire on this guy. Oh. Oh my god. That was a mistake. I can't believe it. I meant to fire here and push him into the water. Ah. Uh, Alright, well that's gonna cost us a lot. And I don't have my restart anymore. Dang. Okay. That was a big mistake. That 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 might have cost us the game because we only had one turn left. All right, let's get lucky with the grid defense. We've got a one in five chance. All right, we lost one of them. All right, that's okay. We've still got two. What just happened? I don't have any way of getting that out of there. Uh, let's see, what can I do? I could push it into the ocean. If I hit it here, I could push it in. What does he do? Flying units can move. Uh, all player units take one damage at the end of every turn. That's powerful. Okay. Uh, how much damage does he deal? Two? And those guys are going to kill me. Okay, so I've got to do something here. If I hit there, yeah, those guys all do too, but that's not enough to kill them. All right, shoot, don't have a lot of don't have a lot of leeway here. And I lose my character, or I stop this from happening. I think I've got to do that. Push him into the fire. And then I've got to push this out of the way, don't I? Do I have much choice? I could hit here. But if that takes out both of those, does it do two or one damage? Let's see. It only does one, so it won't kill me. So that might be worth keeping my guy alive in in that case. Uh, all right, let's see. If I hit there, uh, it doesn't do lightning to everybody. I could deal a lot of damage there. All right, so if I fire here, I hit him for one damage, knock him into the water. If I fire here, I knock him back, knock him into the water, and knock him back one space. What if I fire here? I deal him one damage, knock him into the water, and then I can push him in. That's it. And I'm just going to take one damage here. So let's do that. They're in. Oh, my mech leveled up. Or my, uh, Hey, I'm at leveled up. I didn't know you could do that. All right, now I've got to push him into the water or else I die. All right. Okay, let's end the turn. That's dangerous. We can't we can't let that keep going on. One grid left. Uh oh. The island can't defeat us, so it tries to swallow us. Alright, no power cores. Alright, darn it. I've only got one left. Don't send so many. Deploying a Renfield bomb. Defend it while it primes and it will destroy the hive. God, I don't think we're I don't think we're surviving this. No. Okay, so let's see, what can I do here? How does he attack? 
he launches a glob of goo, so a straight shot. So I can't get out of the way of that one. Uh, is there anything I can do here? Deal, it deals the... Oh, it deals everybody too, including my guys. Okay, well, I, I obviously can't deal that. Uh, what can I do? If he fires here, what happens? Is that it will push the rocks out of the way, but it will deal damage there, so I can't do that either. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. That does three damage. That's enough to kill me. Okay. Hmm. And I gotta get that guy out of the way too, because that's also gonna be brutal. Well, that'll be game game ending if he hits that. So I've got to push him back. How much life does he have? Six? Let's see. Do I do I even have any options here? I might I might just be losing. Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm I'm thinking of ideas like if I hit here, push him back onto this. But he charges forward, so that's not going to be enough. Um, if I push him back, even if I then went one two and then punched him, it's not going to be enough because he'd hit this. Oh man, I wish there was some uh, some falling rocks behind him so I could kill him that way. And then to top it all off, I've got this guy who's going to be glob lobbing these bombs. All right, I need to I need to make some room here. That's all I can do. If I fire here, that gets him out of the way at least. I could then run in here and punch. That's not enough damage. Oop. What just happened? Oh no. I fired on my own guy. Okay, well, sorry for the uh, disappointing end to this Let's Play, but I think that's going to be it. Um, oh, reset turn. Okay, good. Yeah, definitely got to reset that. That was a, uh, a silly way of using the reset. Alright, I think I don't have much choice here. I've got to get in and kill this thing. So, how do I do that? I've got to knock him out of the way. And then punch. It's not enough to get the firepower through. I don't think there's a way to kill him. Let me see. If I go here push him back, and I can charge in and punch. At least it survives for a turn. I think that's as good as it gets. And then he can... Does he only do one damage? Okay, I'm just going to take that hit then. Alright, so let's undo that. Alright, so we're doing this. We're pushing him out of the way. Because I was thinking, well, I could fire here to move him and then run in and punch, but if I do that, I'm just hitting the rock. Although maybe that's okay. Maybe if I fire here... Oh, that deals one damage to everybody also. Okay. Alright, we're doing this. We've got to do it. Get in here to block. Oh, that's going to kill me. Okay, well, I don't have much choice. Alright, deal one damage here. This is a new idea. But it'll help. Oh no, because if I take a power grid damage, I lose also. Okay, so I'm coming here after all. Is there any way I can get to that? Nope. Okay, so I've got to hope that my thing triggers 
and prevents him from prevents that from dying so I'm doing that and then that's that's really my only hope action available still oh have I not attacked boy if I hit that and I deal that damage though I, I lose I can't fire hmm can't do anything I'm just basically blocking It's a bad spot to be in. But I've got to do it to protect the bomb. Okay, yeah. I don't think I was ready for this level. I needed to spend some more time getting more um, power cores. Or at least getting my power grid up so I could have afforded to take more damage. You know, it said it scales to your power level, but I'm wondering if maybe your resources don't count. Uh, Alright, what can I do? I can hit, but if I do, I need to survive a hit there and a hit there. That's not good. I can't really do anything that's worthwhile. I can hit him with this. That doesn't push him backwards. And at least it deals him two damage. I'm gonna do it. Alright, let's see. Oh. Alright. Ooh, deploying another bomb. Alright. Current timeline has suffered a catastrophic system failure. Oh no! If you're time travelers, then prove it. There's nothing more here. Game over. Ah, bummer. It's like one pilot, and I only had one pilot who survived. And she was not my best one. Alright, guys. That's going to wrap it up for this playthrough of Into the Breach. So if we were to play again, we would get to start over, but we get to start with one pilot with some special skills. In this case, the plus three grid defense and plus one mech move. They're okay, nothing to write home about, but not terrible. Uh, can I change the time traveler? No, just a couple of other minor, minor power-ups. It would have been nice to have uh, some of those pods that I think I lost last time. Maybe it would have helped. Uh, anyway, I hope you liked the game. It's definitely worth playing. It's not my favorite game. Um, I definitely prefer Faster Than Light FTL, their previous game, to this one. Um, but this one's got some unique stuff. But it doesn't have quite the flavor. The way the the way the strategy works out, it doesn't make me feel like I'm driving a like a mech suit. Whereas when I'm playing Faster Than Light, I really do feel like I'm playing an old episode of Star Trek. You know, with fires going everywhere and venting oxygen. So I recommend this game if you can get it on sale. If you got it as part of the um, Epic Game Store giveaway. Definitely download it and play it for a while. Um, but I don't see it being more than a 10 or 20 hour game. Um, so if you pay a lot for it, it's probably never going to be one of the great discount games. Uh, I hope you like this content, this video, the series. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel. And let me know in the comments if there's any games that you think are a great you know, discount game, one of the best deals in gaming that I haven't covered yet. And I'll be sure to check it out. Thanks very much. Have a great day.